another day on the Yorkshire coast and uh, another town to show you. Caught in the small coastal resort of Hornsea, <coughs> excuse me, which is about three miles away from where I have the holiday home. It's another stone type old church. A bigger church than the last one I showed you at Mapleton. But this one doesn't have a spire. It has your typical Churchyard, the former residents are scattered around in the ground. Yeah, I'll see if I can walk around a bit further to show you another view. Coming around to the third side, side entrance still there. It's probably got a proper name, but I don't know what it is. And of course, up again to the tower. Not going any high, the sun's just above it, it'll blind you. And more. Former residents are right here. All right, I'll take you to the marketplace next, and we'll have a look at two or three pubs because every marketplace has a two or three pubs. Here we have the junction of uh, marketplace and hidden behind these this bunting somewhere. His new begin. I can find it somewhere there anyway. The sign new begin. So that's the marketplace. Stretches on round that corner. I'm still stood in the church, the grounds of the church. Pan around. The traffic obviously falls in there. The streets are very narrow. Uh, with this place, you know, there's no thoughts of cars and buses and lorries when this place was. Uh, laid out. It's uh, sort of adapted pretty well. You can get through. Right. We'll come back up at the church. It's 5 to 12. I'm going to stay here for five minutes because I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly that this church actually rings the proper chimes up. 12 o'clock and 1 o'clock etc. So I'll, I'll hang around 5 minutes, see if it goes.
And there you have it. And sadly they were ruined by some clown on a motorbike, but I guess we didn't know that. But uh, yeah, so it does charm. Still does do the proper amount of rings as well, 12 for 12 o'clock, so still working all okay. time. Right, I'll take you to the marketplace now. I'll have a look at a couple of pubs. Back on the market, where well, it's a bit busy. Yeah. See them again at the traffic lights, but seeing them from a different side. Yeah. So you can see it does get quite a bit of traffic, even though it's only a small town. Yeah. Swing around there's the new inn. Compared to three pubs on a very short stretch of road. Fine eels, of course. And then if we pan further up the road, we'll come to the next pub. You can see the Union Jacks already on the wall. We'll come back in a second. There goes the bus to Hull, number 24. That's the one I would normally catch. And here's Victoria. Again, another farm watering house. Uh, not as grand as the other one, but uh, still a nice. Uh, there's an excellent pint of uh, bitter, bitter beer, which we're quite fond of. And just behind the roof, and I can scan around, is the old hall. And there is a blue plaque. Which you can read. Pretty handy to have your alcohol because it's really cold, isn't it? Man, it might not be so great on the Saturday night. And there's the, the hall itself. Looks like it's having some work done, some scaffolding on there. You see by the architecture, it's, uh, it's pretty much original, isn't it? All right, let's take it to seaside. Have a look at the scene. And we're now by the Burns Farm, original farmhouse. And we've turned it now into uh, a museum, as you can see. Um, get children's visiting, uh, get dressed up in period costume. And uh, they're showing around the kitchen and how things were back in the, in the time when people actually lived in like this. That's Ben's farm. Of course it's now gifts and anything else to make a few pennies. You look back along you can see the burning. So Mr Burns legacy lives on. And, he's, and Mrs Burns of course. And what would I assume would have been the yard into the original working area of the farm. All right, we're now in the Hornsey Garden of Remembrance, a nice little green area. Plenty of seats and things, stretches for a while. With a bandstand at the far end. And swinging past again, past the, the commemoration of the Fallen and the World Wars. Swing your left, it carries on. And there in the distance, there's a couple of lions, stone lions. So we'll go up there and have a look and a little bit of interesting history there. Still our lions, still on the path of a plinth at the bottom. But sat here for quite a few years. But they originally formed part of a very lavish frontage for a cinema in my home city of Hull. And of course, these... Uh, cinemas were built very, very uh, exquisitely because thousands upon thousands went to cinema every every day, didn't they? Uh, it was the main form of well, picture entertainment. And so they, the buildings were lavish as well to uh, encourage customers. But sadly, taste change and cinemas uh, lost their appeal and eventually the cinema that this was there was stood outside was demolished. Uh, they would have to look for a new home for these two boys and uh, Hornsey the Memorial Garden says well we'll happily take them off your hands. And so I think it was about 30, maybe 35 years ago. And they were loaded onto a truck and brought to the new home.
which to be fair I think uh, is a far pleasant, more pleasant spot than where they were before. There we are at the seawall. Look at that sea, yeah. You think we're in the Caribbean right now, maybe I think so, do you? If I swing it to the south, where you can see where the beach is, we're along there. We'll have a look at the walk up there in a moment. But I like this part where the water comes right up to the seawall. Get the sea bears close. Um, we can see Flamborough, Flamborough Head in the distance. It's not going back to Super Mini, but it's Flamborough Head sticking way out into the North Sea. And it comes back in to Bridlington Bay and the town of Bridlington, which you just cannot see from here. But uh, I'm going to show you some there. Right, let's go to the beach. We yeah, have the beach, <coughs> plenty of people on it, plenty of people in the water as well. Yeah. It's a nice warm day, but I'd have that steam not that warm. There's quite a few on. And of course, it wouldn't be going to see sad without uh, access to ice cream and fish and chips. Very British. And no, I will not be partaking in ice cream or fish and chips because I am rotund enough and I'm serving room because I'm going to have a couple of pints of rather nice alcohol very soon. So I shall forego the fish, fish and chips and ice cream. Just in the distance, I don't know if you can see it. Let me just try and zoom in. Probably go the wrong way. Can you see that steeple? It's Mappleton, the village I showed you before. That's about two miles from here. Uh, yeah, like that. You can see how close all these things are together. Right, okay, I'll like to have head up back up and uh, take some liquid refreshment. I'm going to do a little bit more video on the way if I see something of interest. If not, I'll see you on the next one. That's bad for now. Well, I've now reached my watering hole, the Ornsey Exhibitions Club. Uh, I shall be going in there to partake of an alcoholic beverage. Uh, being the next member of Her Majesty's Armed Forces, uh, of course I'm a fully paid up member. And I like to class myself as a, a retired naval veteran, because it, it just sounds so much more classy than a drunken old bastard.